three, two, one. Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a video on struggling to grow spiritually. Now this is a very, very big thing for Christians all around the world and I just feel like this is something that should be addressed and points should be given to tackle certain areas on how to keep growing, how to get that boost back, that fire back, how to really just go about growing spiritually because I know we can get stagnant sometimes and that's something that we do not want to do. We do not want to get stagnant in our walk and I just pray this video can help you if you are stagnant right now, if you're looking for a way to grow. I just pray that the Holy Spirit leads me in what I say and that these words just touch you and you are able to pick up where you left off and keep on growing. So my first point would be to reevaluate and just reflect on your life. What are you putting more of your time into? What are you spending most of your time doing? What are you involved in? Where do you go? What kind of environments are you always in? Think about it like this. Let's say we have a cup. We have a cup, right? And if you're pouring into your cup horrible TV shows, ungodly music, ungodly shows, ungodly gossip, ungodly voices, ungodly thoughts, then if something comes to bump the cup, what comes out of it? Everything that was ungodly that's filled inside the cup. And that's the same way it is with us as Christians. Whatever we fill ourselves with, whatever we continue to just pile up within us and let and allow to really just go into our system or go into our spirit man that's what's going to come out of us now when something bumps you does jesus pour out of you does jesus flow out of you does love kindness mercy forgiveness understanding you know grace does that pour out of you and if it doesn't you need to reevaluate what you're allowing to pour into you because it really starts with you it really starts with what you're what you're allowing it really starts with what you are letting happen in your life at this point in time because it really just really starts with you as an individual you can't really blame people for your lack of growth because if you didn't want to be affected by certain things you would just subtract yourself from the equation and continue growing by yourself with yourself so I really think that reflection is really 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 important um, I reflect daily I reflect a lot about my life and I just you know reevaluate a lot of stuff because I think that it's better to be honest with ourselves and to continue to paint some kind of false story or you know I'll get there soon or I'm young and I have all of my life to live and no no that's just what the devil wants you to think but um I think it's really important to be honest with yourself and where you are with your growth no pretending find accountability partners and be honest with them seek prayers study 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 your bible and yeah reflection reflect on what you're doing where you're going and everything concerning to your life reflect on it number two eliminate distractions this is pretty huge um, a lot of us have this issue with self-control and we literally have to fight yes I said fight because our flesh is very very weak and we have to fight these things and we have to win because the thing is um, I've always the verse that has always stuck out to me would be if your eye causes you to stumble pluck out your eye because it is better to enter the kingdom of heaven with one eye than to be thrown into the pits of hell with two eyes so that verse is just like whoa it's that extreme like it's that serious so whether it be a relationship that is causing you to stumble whether it be a, a friendship that is causing you to stumble whether it be your environments whether it be some certain habits or things that you do that are causing you to stumble these are things that you should consider subtracting from your life because obviously it would be better to enter the kingdom of heaven without it than be thrown into hell with it would you want to die with your habits or would you want to die with your ungodly relationships or whatever it may be would you want to hold on to that and lose eternity so these are questions you'd want to ask yourself I can't really answer these for you but I personally know that I would definitely want to cut off every single thing that is hindering my growth that is hindering me from getting where I need to be and just really just allowing myself to be around those who are going to empower me and who are going to help me grow and keep me accountable and 
the list could go on forever but um yeah so that verse really 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 hits home when it comes to distractions are you watching too much tv are you watching listening to too much music are you worshiping your boyfriend or girlfriend like sometimes we don't even know we're worshiping these human beings but if your whole life revolves around them then the odds are that you worship them so um let's put jesus back on that pedestal and kick mr or miss off of that so um yeah definitely 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 eliminate distractions <laughs> My third point would be to get plugged into a ministry, an organization, a church, anything that has to do with Christ and has a youth center or things that involve the youth would be a really, really good idea because community is so important. And it's like people think that you can do this walk alone. You can't. <laughs> you really can't. And um, Jesus made it that way so that we could learn how to love each other and learn how to show him through us to other people. So if it was done alone, then it would be a lot more easier. And obviously, um, you know, we wouldn't be able to witness and we wouldn't be able to allow God to use us. So we need to really just be amongst other believers. And honestly, I would say being amongst other believers is really, really important because I know with me and my friends, um, sometimes I'll slip up and they'll be like, hey, Crystal, that wasn't right. Or they'll just let me know the truth, you know, and it's always important to be told the truth. If your friends don't tell you the truth about what you're doing or they're condoning your sin, that's a problem because literally like that's not okay like this is my soul we're talking about this is my eternity we're talking about i know it sounds deep but like it gets it gets real if we're friends you should love me enough to tell me when i'm wrong and tell me when i'm sinning and not condone it or cheer me on like i don't want a cheerleader satan is already my cheerleader <laughs> for sin so um yeah i think it's really important to get plugged in and to get poured into just like that cup analogy i gave before you're gonna want scriptures poured into you when you're trying to grow in christ you're gonna want um, uplifting words encouragement you're gonna want you know motivation you're gonna want inspiration and I think that when you're around people who are going the same way that you're going or want what you want you are instantaneously inspired because you see what they're doing for Christ and you just want to do more and you just want to ask God to continue to fill you up and use you so you need to be set aflame with those around you let's use another analogy let's say we have a box of matches when you light just one fire all of them are going to be set aflame so that's kind of how it is when you're in the same group of people who want what you want so if you're a growing christian and you actually truly want to grow i'm not kidding guys like literally plug yourself into somewhere that has a youth facility or youth functions and grow with them do life with them not saying you can't ever see your other friends again but like do life with them because these are people that are going to help you grow and you can't force your friends to grow and you can't you know change anybody so i mean the best thing for you should would be just to find a group of people that inspire your growth and who actually you know support it and would push you and keep pushing you and keep pushing you and even when you fall they'll push you and even when you're weak they'll push you so um it's just a really good idea to do that as well my fourth point would be to go deeper in the word um yes 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 like i though that this is something that we all or some of us may find difficult actually like opening our bible and trying to study and read it but this is something that's very very crucial to the christian walk that's kind of how god speaks to us that's kind of how we're going to grow that's kind of how we're going to learn and if we're not opening our bible and hearing from god and hearing from you know his past experiences and what he's done in the past and how he's blessed people and just how to figure out things to go about our daily lives then it's going to be really hard to maneuver as a growing christian the bible is literally our catalog it's our manual it's our life manual and if you're not reading your bible then how are you going to know what to do in situations how are you going to know how to react how are you going to know how to respond to 
attacks or tests or trials and that's the thing the devil wants to keep on making sure we do not know is the word of God because when you rest on the promises of God how can the devil shake you when you know that if trials and tribulations come that it's simply just God trying to build your endurance we'll keep persevering but if we don't know we'll give up and we'll run right back to what was keeping us in bondage and what was keeping us in sin so it's really important to just really get into your Bible really get into the word of God and just let that fill you up. That is my last point. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, just leave them down below and I would love to answer those. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Peace, love, and blessings. Bye.